Uh, Ruddy, probably a similar story to Tuesday, plenty of positives without the result. Yeah, there's positives, um, but again, the result's the biggest one for us that we, we haven't got again. Um, performance, good in spells, uh, mistakes in spells that have cost us, um, and that's the bit we need to iron out all over the pitch, not just at the back, not just up top. You know, those square passes in midfield, there was a bit of indecision at times, and once we cut them mistakes out, um, that's a, a, got potential to be a very good group and go on to win football matches, but coming away and conceding after two minutes, you know, we can't do that at any level of football. Um, and how it's happened, you know, we've asked them to try and play and get on the ball. So again, same as Tuesday night, you know, but we'll take responsibility, but we have to be better at it, commit to it um, and get better at it so we're not costing goals like that. Steady as ourselves after that goal, though. I mean, you must be pleased with your reaction to it. Yeah, there was large spells that game where we were on the front foot, balls into the box, things wouldn't quite drop. But again, it's that bit in and around the final third, around the box, that's where games are won and lost it, at both ends of the pitch. We have to be better in both 18-yard boxes. Um, but yeah, like you said, loads of good individual performances. That's positive for the lads. Um, you know, Cam Harper's got through pretty much 90 minutes there. Um, so no, if you go around the pitch, there's positives to take from everybody. Um, as a group, there's positives. You know, the biggest positives, they've, they've had a right go. I can honestly say they've left nothing out there. There's no ifs, buts and maybes, barring individual mistakes all over the pitch. There are plenty of signs there that this team can improve. Uh, like you said, they all give it absolutely everything. Oh, absolutely. And to be fair to them, they have all week. Um, that's not just today. They have all week. They've really bought in. They've really committed to it. Um, there's a real togetherness between the group. You know, they're hurting in there. Um, and, and what we have to do now is you have to pick them up. We have to, you know, get ready for Monday, prepare properly. Um, because I think once this group of players get a result, a positive result, I think confidence and momentum will build from there. And the hardest bit's getting that first result. And once they get one, um, we can go on and build from there. You've asked them to take more risks. That's probably where the first goal comes from. Yeah, massively. Um, and, you know, players know themselves. Uh, but two minutes into a game, wet, greasy, slippy pitch and things like that, you know, we, we're not going to change the message. You know, we have asked them to do that. So we take responsibility. You know, mistakes are going to happen at any level of the game. Um, unfortunately, we've made one or two today that have cost us. Um, and, you know, that, that's football. That's football. You know, mistakes can cost you. And unfortunately, we've made more than Bradford today, I feel, in terms of game-changing moments. We got a bit of luck with our goal, but it was at a point where we were really on top and we really deserved it. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you can. everyone can see we deserved something today, I think. Um, but we have to turn them maybe moments and them, them nearly misses into positive, clear-cut chances and goals. Um, and again, that comes with confidence. You know, once the lads get a result and game-changing moments at that end, some of them uh, nearly chances turn into good chances where, you know, you go and put the ball in the net. Um, but that, th they've got to stick with it. They have to work hard. They've got to believe. Uh, we have to help them with that and support them. I thought the fans today were excellent right until the very end, you know, helping try to drag that ball into the net. There were so many nearly bits, but nearly isn't good enough. Um, we need to be better than that. Harry made a great double save just after the goal as well, but just couldn't quite keep that second one out. Yeah, you know, I think when we when we scored and equalised, it was a bit, do we really go for it, realising there was still 30 or 30 minutes left? Or do we, you know, sit tight? But yeah, unbelievable save to keep us in the game. And that's what, he's, you know, Harry is a very good goalie. Uh, no doubt about it, both with the ball at his feet and doing that. He's dealt with a couple of crosses into the box. And yeah, it's a great save, that at 1-1. Ben Williams came off with what looked like a nasty injury. What are the early signs on that one? Yeah, Ben went to block the cross in the bottom corner and his, his studs have just got caught in the, in the grass. Um, so it's his knee. Um, Sophie's in there looking at it and helping deal with it now. Um, it, it's, it's not looking great, if we're honest, but you know we'll see how he goes tonight and tomorrow. Um, he'll go and get checked out properly and, and see where we're at for next week with Ben. But fingers crossed for him um, that, he, that he's OK and it's not as bad as we first think. Terrell also had to come off. What was that one? Yeah, Terrell was just his hamstring uh, when he made that sprint down the line. Um, and we said we would do it straight away because he said he wanted to try and carry on but if he does he maybe makes it longer and makes it worse so um, so hopefully that was precautionary and hopefully he'll be in Monday and, and we'll go from there next week with Terrell as well Aaron and Dan also missing what was the problems with those? Yeah Aaron last week against Tranmere had a big cut above his um, eyebrow on his forehead um, so that required stitches um, and obviously they've gone through the concussion protocols as well but that's all clear so hopefully Aaron will come back into the group for next week um, and Dan got a knock off the Tuesday night game off the goalkeeper. Um, again, he trained yesterday for a bit of it, 
But as soon as he went into 100% striking footballs, he, he felt it. So again, no risk taken. And hopefully early parts of next week, we can get Dan and Aaron back into the group and hope that today's aren't too bad and we get a stronger, better group together again for later next week. A week without a game, which is probably a good thing at the minute. Any indication of whether you'll still be in charge for that Fleetwood game? No, we've had no indication. Um, you know, we're going to de- we're going to look at this one properly. Uh, we'll debrief it on Monday, uh, but no indications next week. As long as we're in charge, we'll keep doing it properly, giving absolutely everything, same as the players in there and everyone involved. Um, and you know, if we are in charge next week, and we need that win to, to start turning things around and getting points on the board, and you know, we we know what we need to do. Um, cut out mistakes, do the basics really well. Um, the same enthusiasm, character, and desire as today. Um, and just be better all over the pitch to get that first I think once they get that first win they can really believe and buy in and that'll be the start of the season but we need it sooner rather than later Good chance to get a proper week's training in with the lads as well Yeah that'll be positive Um, early part of the week we pick them up we dust them down we get things positive again we start to look at Fleetwood and, and where we need to be better it's about our game plan we want to be better and have teams worrying about us Um, yes we'll identify their strengths and weaknesses but we've identified Bradford's today and you know, it, sometimes we've nullified it very well at times, you know, to put us on the front foot and other times we haven't. So what we need to do is worry about us first, get our basics right, which today at times we haven't really. Um, and, and yeah, roll on to next week, dust them down, be positive, get them upbeat again, ready to go at home next week. Just the final word on the fans who were fantastic today and we'll need them again next week, whoever's in charge. Oh, 100%, yeah. The fans always get behind this club. Um, all 2,000 and odd of them today have been absolutely magnificent could hear them all game to be fair um, and it does make a difference I said it in the week it does make a difference um, supporting the lads you know people on there have got 90 minutes in them and the pressing things in the last minute we're throwing balls in the box we're desperate to get the ball in the net uh, and they're a big part of that um, sticking with us clapping the lads off at the end the lads need that 100% they need people behind them encouraging them supporting them and so no a big thank you from myself for them for this week the support they've, they've shown us as a staff and, and the players um, can't thank them enough but stick with it stick with the club stick with the players you know results will turn the lads are working hard to make sure that happens so and when it does enjoy it because it, the results will turn at some point and we're hoping it's well we're going to do everything to make sure it's next Saturday at Fleetwood